doing i hope you're well thank you so much for clicking on to today's video today i'm going to tidy up my wardrobe and um, well not my full wardrobe in particular my coat section of the wardrobe guys i'm such a hoarder i just hoard like terribly so i've got coats that are years old which i need to sort out they're all in the other room but my plan is to bring them all through throw them on the bed and um have three piles one that i'm going to keep one for the charity shop and one for vintage. Um, let's see how many I actually part with. I probably won't part with any, you know. Um, but I, that's what I'm going to do. But before we get started on doing the wardrobe, I just wanted to show you a couple of products. Um, a while ago, I think maybe two videos ago in my Primark haul, I picked up some fake tan for my face and neck. And you guys said, let me know how you get on with it because I wanted a white, like a clear one because as you can see, I've got white bedding on the bed and I hate, I used to always put fake tan on before I went to bed and then you wake up in the morning, you've got to rip the bedding off um, because it's just all dirty and what have you. So I really did want a clear one that wasn't going to mark my bedding and sure enough, it didn't. Um, so I've got it on now. I'll just put... Um, wash my face put some moisturizer on and then give it a quick spritz it's in it like a little spritzer bottle um, and give it a rub in i put it on my face and neck and it's kind of no streaks it's worked out quite well didn't mark my bed at all which is fab Um, the smell it smells absolutely lovely when you first put it on it's got that like coconutty smell but as it sort of it starts to what do you call it when it starts to like um process if that's the right word and um, it starts to get that sort of fake tan smell that i don't quite like like a biscuity smell um but it was all right because i was asleep through most of it so um but i thought the color and like it like i said it didn't streak or anything like that um so i would give it like probably eight out of ten and it's only losing two marks because of the smell eventually um i got it in the dark brown no i didn't i got it in medium medium color um but yeah, I thought it was quite good. I think it was £4.99 as well. And the last thing I wanted to show the next thing I want to show you was this bedding, which you would have seen me pick up in my Dunelm haul. And quite a few people said, oh, you know, let me see the bedding when it's on. So I just thought I would show you. I'll move the camera around a little bit. Actually, can you see a little poodle at the back there hiding pictures? Um, so this is the bedding. I love the quality of it. I think it's quite thick. I'll tilt the camera down over. Um, this is the pattern that kind of changes as it goes down and gets a bit more sort of like ornate. The quality of the bedding is really good as well. It's not um, like just sort of like thin cotton like most duvets. This has got kind of quilted on the front um and it's all like sort of stitched as well um absolutely love it i think it's really nice it washes really well and it sits on the bed nice as well it sort of sits nice and smooth um so yeah i would definitely give it 10 out of 10 i've got it in the we've got a king size bed but we've actually only got a king size duvet on so i'm sure i paid maybe was it 46 pound was it 52 i can't remember you would have to go back and look at my latest dunelm haul but overall i am happy with this bedding um so right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to nip into the other room i'm going to bring all the coats and i'm going to throw them on the bed and then i'm going to sort through them uh, and i've also got a new lint roller to try out as well which i'm really quite excited about um, like I say, a couple of the coats have just got like little bubbles. I don't know if I've told you this, actually. Some of the coats, I think, are still in good condition, apart from like a few bubbles. So I chose to get this one in the white and rose gold just because I thought it looked very aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's got a few different settings, but hopefully it'll take all the little bubbles off. Um, it just sounds like a little hairdryer. I think it's got has it got five settings i'll have to check it's usb chargeable as well so you don't have to put any batteries in i've not even charged this i just took it out of the box like that but um i'll go and get my coat and we'll sort through them and i'll see what i need to do we 
we'll work through these ones first. I mean, realistically, does anybody need this many coats? It's absolutely crazy. I've just turned that light off in the corner because there was like a glare, wasn't there? Um, right, I'm going to just work my way through. Like I say, I'm going to do uh, three piles. Um, so here goes. I'm going to start off with these jackets, which I got, um, really only wear them sort of at Christmas time, but I kind of don't want to get rid of them because I absolutely love, um, I love, well, I love a bit of velvet anyway, any time of year, but, um, I probably won't wear them outside of Christmas. So that's a red one and that's a Marks and Spencer's one, which I want to keep. I've also got that green one, which you might have seen um, just after Christmas in my Matalan haul. And that's in the dark bottle green velvet as well. And I just think these are really nice jackets to wear, like to either dress up or down. Um, I've also got a pink one, but I don't know if I'll wear this one again. It's like a pink crushed velvet. Probably, will I? can't even remember where I got this one from. Um... Do you know what? I'm actually going to keep it. I told you this was going to be more difficult than it sounded because I'm just a hoarder and I don't like to get rid of things. I've also got a navy blue velvet one as well. That's a different style. That's like the waterfall front. Actually, I got this one from Avon, if I remember rightly. Um, But again, I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to keep those four little crushed velvet jackets. Um, because I will come back to them at Christmas time and a couple of them I forgot I had this year and didn't end up wearing at Christmas so this is going to be my keep cut air uh, pile which I'll put there and then I'll start with some of the bits right I'm going to I've got a couple of fur coats do I need to keep two fur coats I don't know this one is I got from Simply B, um, but I absolutely love it. And I know it's, um, I just think it looks really nice with dark blue jeans to dress sort of in winter with a nice scarf. And I just love like the different coloured furs on it. Um, and it wasn't cheap, so I just don't really want to get rid of it. And it's probably the wrong time of year to get rid of it if I wanted to. But no, I think I'm going to keep this one as well. Um so that's to stay so up to now i've gotten rid of zero jackets i've also got another fur jacket which is like a, a um animal print i think this one's a new look one it is um but again do you know what? i want to keep it because it is nice for winter um so i'm going to keep a hold of that one Plus, I haven't worn these jackets very many times because they're not the sort of jackets that you would wear, like, all the time. So, I'm going to keep that one as well. Right, now I'll move on to, like, some of my wool coats. Um, this one I got from Asda, which I want to keep. And that's just, like, the, like, a cream herringbone style. Um... The only thing is, it is a little bit bobbly. For all I haven't worn it loads of times. Don't know if you can see the bobbles on it. I'm going to actually try that little gadget out on it. So I actually was kindly gifted this product from an Amazon seller. Um, but he, he didn't sort of say I had to do a review. He said, give it a go. If you're happy with it, review it. Um, well, review it either way. Um, so I haven't actually tried it yet, but there is some bubbles on there, if you can see, which kind of would put us off wearing it. So this little gadget has four settings. One, two, three. Right, I've one number three. It's USB chargeable, so you don't have to use batteries on it. Oh my God, look at how good that's come out. Right, I'll see if there's any around the pocket area. Oh wow, that's incredible. Oh, I'm going to find this so therapeutic, you know, just debobbleize and all of me and um, stuff. I suppose you could use it on jumpers, cardigans, sheets, duvet covers, anything. But it's literally just pulling them off. And I love the fact it's USB chargeable as well. I don't 
Sachen von selbst zu nähen. Ich nehme mich dann gleich unter die Arme, ja, so, ja. You can hear them pulling them off. It's just like shaving the fabric. That's literally giving that coat a new lease of life. There's no bubbles on it at all there now. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy doing that. I'll try it on a few other coats if I come across any with bubbles on. So I'm keeping that one as well. And I'm also going to keep this one because I think a good camel coat, not that it's a good camel coat, it's only from Asda. But you see, again, it's like, really, can you see how it's like bubbly around there? So we'll give it a little shave and see if I can save this one because I do like camel coat. I think it always looks really smart with a nice um it's literally taken all of the bubbles off. That's incredible. Right, I'm not gonna bore you with that though. Um so that's a keeper as well i think this coat is like a brushed like a brushed wool and um, it's got like a waterfall front it's in like a blush pink as well and it's brushed and um, it's not bubbly it's just um i don't know i don't know if i'm going to keep that one but is it good enough to go to vintage or should it go in the charity shop bag it's from Next, so it wouldn't have been cheap. Do you know what? I think I'm actually going to put that one on Vintage. So I'll put that on the floor down there for the Vintage pile. This is just a unlined coat. That's quite, that's very bubbly actually. Um, if I can shave it, I'll put it in the charity shop. taking them all off right I'm going to put that in the charity shop pile so I'll put that on that side that'll be another pile and um, I've got another one of those sort of um woolen coats which I got from Primark again it's got quite a few bubbles on but I'm quite confident that this is going to save it yes it is right so I'm going to keep that one as well Nobody needs this many coats, realistically. I used to love that from Primark. Right, that's going in the bin because that is just... So you had better days, seen better days. Right, now I'm going to move on to my dog walking coats. So I've got, like, these are like, um, you know, like Parker style. This one can definitely go. It can either go... It'll go on... Vin no, it'll go in the charity shop. I'll give that to the charity shop, that one. And I'm sure I've got some more Parkers sort of style coats here. I've got a black one which I'm going to keep because that's really good for dog walking. So that I'll put that on the keep pile. Just a black parka. And I've also got a white one as well which is a nice winter coat for when it's sort of snowing. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep this one as well. Um, guys, I'm such a hoarder. I'm terrible. Oh, the belt must be twisted around the back. Is that not buckling properly? Oh, because it didn't go like that. So it, it's twisted. Um, but I'm going to keep that because that's like a sort of three-quarter length. No, it's not. It's like just above your knee length. But it's got a nice fur hood on and it's nice and fleecy inside. So I'll keep that. Right, this biker jacket, which I think was from Matalan. Yeah, it was. The papaya range. I don't think I'll ever wear that again, you know. I think that's going to go to vintage. And then I've got these. I've got two of these. I've got... I've got these from Boohoo. And they're just like thin, long, ankle length sort of coats, but not lined. So I've got the grey one, which I believe... I think I'll put that on vintage. And I've also got it in black, which can also go to vintage. Because I've literally had them on a couple of times. Um, I've got another waterfall coat, which is in this sort of dark green colour, like army green. 
a nice light wear on this I'm gonna keep this as well because that's just a nice sort of put on for the summer you know like uh, I'm sorry for spring so I'll keep that one as well I've got this one which is also a very similar style in red and I got that from the charity shop but it's in really good condition so I'm tempted to put it on vintage yeah, I'm going to put that one on vintage. Um, I actually totally forgot about this. So I've had this in the wardrobe for maybe a year or so, maybe longer. And it's just, again, a non long, non-lined sort of jacket, quite lightweight. But I think it's still a put-on. Um, and I got that in the sale for £12 from 26 So, again, I'm going to keep that. Um, another one of these Primark coats in red which is also quite bubbly, if I remember rightly. So I'm going to give that a little shave and see if I can save it. And if I can, I'll keep it, because I haven't got another red coat. Good as new. And see how much lint is oh my god look at that just off them coats can you believe that all of that and i've just taken it out of the box well it certainly does the job doesn't it anyway guys if you're interested in that little gadget i'm going to come back and i'm going to shave all my coats properly when i've got more time rather than making you sit through it but if you're interested in that little gadget, I will leave it linked down below. Like I say, I was gifted it from an Amazon seller, but um, up to now I can highly recommend. And the fact it's USB chargeable as well. And it's certainly doing the job. As you can see, everything's lovely and smooth once I've done it. Um, oh, right, I've got one more coat here. Which is just a lightweight spring dog walking coat as well. But to be quite honest, it can go. I don't need it. So I think I'll probably take that to the charity shop. So I haven't got... So I've got three to go to the charity shop. And I've got four, four to go to Unvinted. Um, the other thing that shouldn't have been in there is just... that's I don't know why this is with my coat. It's just like a lace beach wrap. Which I'll just put that in my normal wardrobe because I will use that again if I'm lucky enough to get a holiday this year. Um, I did tell you I wasn't very good at um, getting rid of things. I'm I'm too much of a hoarder. Um, right. So one one for the one for the bin, three for the charity shop, four for vintage, and I'm keeping all these on the bed. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I've got a really, really good subscriber giveaway coming up because I've just hit 4,000 subscribers, which I'm absolutely thrilled about. So thank you so, so much for all of your support. Um, so obviously, as just a gesture, I wanted to give something back and I wanted to do a subscriber giveaway. Um, but that will be coming up in maybe a couple of weeks or something like that. Um Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, it was only a quick one. And I was actually doing this today anyway. And I just wanted to show you them a couple of extra things. I wanted to show you the lint um, roller. It's not a roller. Um, and the tan and my bedding. Um, so I just thought I would do it with you. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you all in my next video. I watch you as you drive. Do you know?